to cart, I want to know that what I'm buying has actually got staying power in my wardrobe. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Olivia and here we talk all things luxury and lifestyle. So if you're into those things, I hope you'll consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think. And today is a really good day to leave your opinion because today we are talking about one of my all time favorite pairs of shoes. Um, these shoes need no introduction. I will not have a lengthy intro, but I will tell you that what we're doing is a watch before you buy video. So I love to do these because I hope that they help someone decide whether or not to spend their money on a purchase they've been looking forward to, or to be honest, if you already have these, this is just like a nice patty on the baddie. It's like give the baddie a pat, like way to go you. You made a good investment. Let's talk about reasons to feel that way, okay? So we are talking about the pros and cons of, you know it, you love it, you saw it on the title, the Jimmy Choo Saeedas. I just, like, <sighs> they make me wanna cry, they're so good. They get my dog excited, they're so good. Like, come on. These shoes could not be more radiant. I literally have a whole list of pros and cons to take you through, but like the pro is that they're these. So like video's over, cut the mic. The video's over, the pro is that they are these. I literally think that these are one of the best designer shoes on the market, like hands down, hands down, hands down. So because I'm already getting excited about these shoes, let's start with the pros. So first things first for me, if you are a tried and true subscriber of the channel, you know that I care so much about the quality of the shoes that I am wearing, okay? And quality to me is not like how expensive were these shoes? Like, you know, who's the designer behind them? What's the name on them? It's literally simply just the quality, okay? It is buying the shoes and knowing, especially shoes with this much kind of gem work and detailing, knowing that three months from now, I'm not gonna find myself in a situation where every single jewel has come off. Like that's obviously a problem for me. I do not want that sort of a thing. When I do my like, hit it, hit it, add to cart, I wanna know that what I'm buying is actually got staying power in my wardrobe. Like I want to know for sure, 100%, that I'm buying a high quality piece and that is my first pro with the Jimmy Choo Saeedas. And I guess you could say that this is a pro to me for most pairs of Jimmy Choo's because I'm a big Jimmy Choo fan. But these particularly, I think Crystal Shoes blew up, certainly around the world, but like definitely in my little corner of the world, okay? Because that wardrobe, it's giving Crystal Diva. It's giving Icy everywhere. It's giving Ice Me Out, Ice Me Down. My wardrobe is very icy, so I appreciate knowing that with the Jimmy Choo crystal shoes, no crystals are coming off. So again, pro number one is the quality of these shoes. They are so well constructed. I have not had a single crystal or little gem fall off. I mean, these truly are in phenomenal condition. So truly for me, pro number one had to be the quality on these. Um, and I talk about this all the time. If you missed my best and worst purchases of 2022 video, I will link it above, but this shoe, this specific pair made the list for exactly that, for the amazing quality of this shoe. So pro number one, Jimmy Choo Saeedas, the quality is there. You will not waste your money if you decide to buy these. All right, so pro number two is genuinely, these shoes are the moment. Like these shoes, are the entirety of an outfit for me. And I'll insert some reels or some photos of me wearing this shoe. And let me just tell you, I love pairing these shoes because they are so standout with something remarkably simple. Like literally just a plain one color dress, like a Wolford dress or a Skims dress. That kind of a vibe where it's just a really light and basic piece of comfy fabric and these shoes. I think it just makes the most beautiful pairing. And I love when I invest in pieces like this because it makes me feel like my closet is more versatile. Like I know that I have a million little dresses like what I just explained or a million jumpsuits actually. 
just pieces that are one color, pretty basic, pretty plain, really well constructed, but not, you know, they are not the outfit. They don't make the whole look absolutely pop. These shoes do. And so I love having these because they have made my closet feel like I can do way more things with it. Um, and not to mention, you can wear these with a million things. So yes, you can wear them with dresses or jumpsuits, like I just said. Um, I've also worn these with mini skirts. I've worn these with shorts, um, like shoot, suit shorts. I never say this the right way. Suits that are a blazer on the top and a pair of shorts at the bottom. I don't know if I'm okay or not. It's like, why was that so hard for me to say? You can wear these a million ways. They are the whole outfit, so I love feeling like I can rely on these, but I don't know what to wear. It's like, let me just wear some fancy shoes and something basic. These are always the fancy shoes that I reach for. Like more than my Amina Muwadi Begums, more than my Manila Blana Kangisis, which if you missed that video, I will link that above as well because I love those shoes, but these are just crystals in a different way. This is a more powerful crystal pump to me because the Hunkisi and the Begum obviously have the crystal on, you know, the front toe box, whereas these have crystals wrapping all around the ankle, going down the back, and then kind of dangling on the sides. These are giving chandelier vibes. They're giving like when you walk into a fancy hotel, and you're like, oh. Like you just walk in, you just know it's fancy because the chandelier said, you're in a fancy place in the house, so leave your outside attitude. Outside, okay, come in here and behave appropriately requisite to the chandelier hanging, you know, from like 900 feet above. That's what these shoes do. You heard it here first, late breaking news. These shoes give a chandelier vibe. All right, pro number three. These shoes are absolutely beautiful, okay? The color saturation, and I say this all the time, I know, I'm like a broken record. If you want shoes with beautiful, brilliant color payoff, please start with Jimmy Choo. Like, I know that there's a million options. I know, I know, I know, I've seen them all. I've done all the internet browsing one could possibly do. Um, I'm like habit stacking it with my day job. Like I should be paying attention to a meeting. And I'm like, anyway, scroll, swipe, tech, tech. Um, that's terrible, don't tell my day job, please. But really, these shoes do it better, I promise you. They're better than every other pair of kind of this, you know, colored satin that you can possibly find. Jimmy Choo does it better. Mark my words, I promise. Like I know I'm so fanatical about Jimmy Choo, but it's for a reason. The color payoff is insane. Um, these shoes, and this is not a reason to buy a pair of shoes. This is certainly not the reason I bought these shoes, but something that I found is that dudes love these shoes. Like dudes, boys, grown men, everyone, all of them in between. I have literally gotten wows wearing these shoes on dates. People will literally be like, oh wow. And I'm like, is it, oh my gosh, are they nice? Like, <laughs> tell me again. It's really self-supported, but here we are. These shoes are just showstoppers. And yes, the crystals definitely add to the showstopping, you know, pinache of the shoe. But I really think it's how brilliant and beautiful the color is on this shoe. All right, and my last pro, is these are truly all year round shoes. So I bought these last spring. Um, I did a whole luxury spring shoe haul, which I will also link above. It is my favorite video to film ever. And this was my favorite pair of shoes to pull out during that video. These to me just work with everything. I mean, I kind of already said it, right? Like these, work with dresses, they work with skirts, jumpsuits, whatever. What I didn't say is like, I've also worn these with wool pants in the winter. Um, obviously, this might not be the most wintry color. If you're that girl, you're that girl. Like if you can pull this off in the winter, more power to you. I don't know that I could. So in true Olivia fashion, I have these shoes in a whole nother color. So these are perfect. Okay, in the winter, these are perfect. They make just like a beautiful holiday shoe. Um, this year I wore this to a holiday party. I wore this on a date this year. I mean, these got a lot of traction in the colder months because they're just the right color. They, again, the heel height, the style, everything about these makes them appropriate for so many events. And again, just for the whole year. All right, so switching gears into the cons. And obviously I love these shoes, so there are less cons 
then pros, which thank God, okay. Uh, my first con is that this absolutely stunning, beautiful satin is delicate, okay? At least in my mind it is. I guess I haven't ventured to find out because I don't play like that. Like that's not, those are the sorts of games I play. Those are little boy games. Those are ghetto games. I don't play those, okay? These shoes I would never wear in a couple situations. And to be fair, yes, this is my first con, but also I wouldn't wear most of my shoes in these scenarios, okay? So the first one is at the beach, like any sort of sandy situation, okay? Like, and I'm thinking, you know when you go to the restaurants that are literally on the beach, like you're walking in the sand to sit? Never to a place like that. Honestly, maybe not even on a boardwalk. So definitely not in a sandy situation, but also not in a water one, okay? So like definitely not water wave situation, um, but also like if there's still snow melting outside, if it is raining, in none of these situations is Olivia walking outside. I don't know why I keep speaking in third person. It's been a long week. Your girl's acting weird. Never in any of those situations would I wear these outside because I think, again, this satin is just, like it is so soft to the touch. This is such nice satin that I have so many fears that sand is just gonna rough it up. I don't need my shoes to be buffed, we're not doing that. And I feel like the water would stain them. Um, so I have a handful of Manila Blahniks that are suede and the lighter colors, I can just see the staining and it drives me insane because why was I not thoughtful enough to not wear them in the winter when the snow is still melting off the ground. So anyway, I have war stories. I have learned my lesson. This pair of shoes, if you get them, just keep in mind, you cannot wear them in certain weather conditions. All right, my second con, and I know that I'm kind of talking out of both sides of my mouth here because again, I love Jimmy Choo. I have loved Jimmy Choo since I was very little. Like as soon as I knew how to read, I remember walking around the shoe department, like, you know, terribly bored as a little kid while my mom's trying on shoes and I would look for the Jimmy Choo's. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if I like, liked the name or like the style of shoe. All I know is it was like top in my mind as a little kid at the store. So growing up, I had to have tons. I absolutely love them. And so I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth a little bit, but I just have to say, because I want to be honest and tell the truth, these are not comfortable. Like the, I want to say the first con, obviously this is con number two, but a very big con of these is that they are not comfortable. Like full stop period. I am actually planning to wear these tomorrow. Um, I'm going to dinner at this restaurant that just opened that I absolutely love in DC. And the only reason I'm wearing these is because I know that I'm just getting out of the car and walking directly up the steps going to the restaurant, coming back down the steps, getting in the car, coming home. It is one of those. And again, to be fair, in these shoes defense, um, that's not my only pair that I say things like that about. They are being dropped off only shoes, okay? Because, oh my God, I tried to drive in these shoes one day. It was a valet only situation. So I'm like, oh, I'll be perfectly fine. This is a great time to wear these. I'm just gonna wear them and you know, go in, go in place. Um, the way we almost crashed the car, okay, the way we were just skirting off in traffic, like, I mean, 20% of the recommended control level of your foot to the... Anyway, don't drive in these shoes, should probably be con to be. Uh, they are not comfortable. You should be dropped off. Please do not get behind the wheel of a car and think that you can drive like normal. Um, if I ever drive with these again, I'll literally just take them off and then, you know, barefoot drive, which sounds country, but like, don't judge me. That's my business, okay? All right, so my last and final con, and I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth. Like I already said that, I admitted that. Crucify me! I already admitted that, okay? These shoes are so stand out that I feel like I can't wear them like as much as I would want to. I can't wear them all the time. I can't wear them, you know, three weekends in a row because they stand out so much. And obviously, I bought them because they stand out. Like there's a million shoes. There's the Manolo Blahnik Chaos. There's the Louboutin Luby Girl. Like there's so many much more basic, less substantial leather, quiet, neutral or suede shoes that you can wear and wear and wear and no one is gonna ever notice. These are not in that category, okay? These are a completely different genre. And so obviously we can all do as we please with our things. 
but personally, I don't wear these a ton because I just think they stand out too much to do so. I wear these probably once a quarter at best, and they serve it up. Like, when it comes to serving, should be too excited about a serving, okay? They definitely do what I need them to do, but if you are anything like me, just keep in mind that your cost per wear might be lower than some of the other pieces in your closet. So, if you are considering buying these shoes, I say a resounding yes, absolutely do it. Um, there's for sure things to consider, okay? There's definitely cons, but I feel like when is there not? Like, at least when I am shopping, there's always a couple pros and a couple cons to adding a new piece to my wardrobe. So I really hope this helped. If you already have these shoes, if you want them, but you're not sure if you're gonna get them, whatever the case, let me know your thoughts below. What styles do you like? What colorways? All of that. I would love to hear from you. And with that, I will say thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. If you have watched this long, I hope you consider liking, subscribing, and being a part of this community. If you are not done watching, I'll leave two videos on the screen above, and I will see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye.